Hey guys, happy holidays. Anyways, welcome to a little special video. So every now and then I do post some videos that aren't really related to RuneScape, but a lot of my viewers enjoy anyways. So just a heads up for those of you guys that are new, I have recorded quite a bit of stuff from my study abroad experience back in China and also uh, visiting back my hometown. So I have already released quite a bit of vlogs regarding that. And today's video is a continuation of the last video about my hometown. So hope you guys enjoy today's video. It's my third day back in my hometown and it is really hot. So in American weather, you would consider this to be about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And obviously at other places around the world, it's around 33, 34 degrees Celsius. So I want to actually go and show you the things that basically my family, my mother's side of the family is really doing at this time, you know, for money and stuff. Well, one of my uncles in particular is growing these bamboos. They're called Lucky Bamboos. Which is basically Lucky Bamboos. Translated, I suppose, in English. I'm not really sure if they are really a type of bamboo, but uh, according to the name, it is. So. So yeah, a lot of Chinese people buy this and they like to put this in a vase or something and also they continuously grow as well so they use it as a way to decorate the house and as the name suggests, it probably gives good luck. So yeah, right here is my uncle's uh, plantation and pretty much here everyone's allotted quite a bit of land by the government from a long time ago so this land is strictly used for farming and no other purpose. We also have a mountainside that we uh, plant stuff as well but nowadays now that my grandpa's passed away we have pretty much stopped really farming anything over there we can still use it just have no interest in farming up there anymore time to show you guys some farming action so my uncle he's clearly 99 farming and uh, he's gonna harvest some lucky bamboo we're getting a closer look i think he's just inspecting all of the bamboos first but apparently he's gonna uproot Pretty much all of these that you can see on the screen right now so like these two aisles uh yeah we'll get to the technique later okay so my um, uncle is unlatching the strings that are holding all the structure okay never mind we're actually uh leaving now uh because my uncle all he's doing today is just to untie the strings okay, here's another festive dinner so these are the slimy fish you know slimy which is slimy, very slimy. This is called a uh, fishing shrimp, bloody ha, which is literally translated as fishing shrimp. So, yeah, there's probably a, a more official name for this in English, but yeah, these are like between a shrimp and a lobster. But honestly, it tastes better than the other two. This is amazing. This does not taste like normal fish. You know, not like a piece of salmon or something. It's sweet and it's sucky. It's and it's amazing. So. And yeah, chicken. Uh, some plain vegetables, some melons, some meat, patties. So, I am pretty sh surprised about all these freaking uh, farming tractors. Like, uh, it's everywhere, literally everywhere. It seems very popular, you know? Great, look at that, even my uncle's surprised. He usually doesn't come here, you know? He's like, why is there so many parts here, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, they're all over. Yeah, it's very popular nowadays, you know, less people are working, you know, like full manual labor. Now they have tractors and stuff, you know, so so the assimilation to new technology is catching up quite nicely. So I'm pretty sure within 20 years, everyone's probably going to be using these. And uh, all the older people, you know, they're probably going to just stop doing the manual labor stuff or they've passed away. You know, kind of sad to say, but yep, it's going to the future, I guess, to modernity. Okay guys, what you see here is a store, you know, the village style. And I used to buy stuff from here all the time. This is like my neighborhood area right here of the village. They're obviously, it's a little bigger. It's not honestly that big, but it's more than what I can just show you in one instant. But yeah, you just used to play around here all the time. Oh, my friends and stuff. And up there's the internet tower. I told you, put like your phone, internet, everything. Yeah, I'll show you my old house. And uh, there's like the man-made pond for like the fishes and stuff. And this is like the other store that I used to go and buy candy and stuff. This did not used to be here. 
It's pretty cool, like how they made this really fancy cake. And up there is my old house. Oh, yeah, all the old people are playing mahjong, you know. There, that's like the main local activity that they do. This is my main residence. It's a pretty damn big house, I mean, but then I get lots of people around here. We also have like big ass houses. But yeah, this thing has uh, maybe like three plus four. But I can't show you it inside right now because it's locked. So I'll just leave it at that. Uh, this is like a classic dish in the south. These little flower balls. And yeah, you just cook it. You add some pork, some dried seaweed, and obviously some seasoning, some uh, onion leaves. And yeah, that's how you make it. It's really simple, honestly. There we go. So this is the bamboo plantation that I showed you guys a while ago. And uh, here we're crossing this little like river irrigation canal into some of the rice fields. But yeah, this is like all the fields. I mean, not all the fields. A field, a section of a lot of fields. And an infinite amount of fields. Oh god, it keeps raining, you know? It's been raining these past few days, so the road's been really sucky. Yeah, I'm just wearing sandals because I don't give a shit about those. They can be cleaned easily. But yeah, it's fucking hot and humid and lots of bugs at night. And you go around here. So for those people that still, you know, work in these hard manual labor stuff, man, it's, it's hard, man. So here's another 360 scope of this area in the field. And before I end this clip, I just want to show you guys something cool. So you guys are aware of obviously the windmills and uh, even in the villages they have these now which is really good because it's pretty windy sometimes so it helps to generate some free electricity on the side so keep in mind the ground is not flat at all so I am shaking like a motherfucker but you guys see those windmills right up there that's so cool apparently they installed them a few years back actually so that's really cool and uh, the scenery is really fantastic look at the clouds man the clouds around my town they're just ridiculous you know and here it's just like clouds are literally rising from the mountains so it's really cool and yeah the scenery it's not bad at all for being outside of the cities it's beautiful well final lunch before we head to hong kong so uh maybe we can come back here within a year that'd be cool you know summer or something and that about wraps up my time back at my hometown. So I plan to have another one of these vlogs coming out sometime in the future. It's gonna be obviously a continuation from where this vlog left off. So I'll be heading over to Hong Kong for the internship. And in the next video, I hope to show you guys some cool things about Hong Kong and also of course my stay there with my family and also at the internship. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope to see you guys soon with another RuneScape video very soon. Take care and bye bye.